In today's health alert, the nation is already experiencing a rise in cases of respiratory viruses this season. But how can you determine whether it's the flu, RSV, or a COVID? I mean, it's tough out here, Doc. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy to sort out some of the various symptoms that could make one or the other. And I was just on the phone coming to the studio talking about that. So all three viruses, flu, RSV, and COVID, really have similar symptoms. A cough, fever, runny or congested nose, sneezing, and a sore throat. That makes it difficult to determine what you might have and how to properly treat it, right? So let's start with the flu. Here's what to look out for flu symptoms. Uh, they appear rather quickly. So if you're around someone who has a flu and the next day you have a fever, mm. it's most likely to be the flu. COVID-19 and RSV has, have longer incubation periods, ranging from 2 to 14 days for COVID and 2 to 8 days for RSV. The flu is also more likely than the other viruses to cause muscle aches or body aches. Now, RSV will start off like a cold with a dry, almost non-stop cough. It can produce other respiratory issues like wheezing and rapid breathing. Shortness of breath and difficulty breathing are also common in COVID cases. And the one telltale sign of COVID is, is often the loss of taste and smell. That usually doesn't happen with the other two viruses. However, the only way we know to confirm the diagnosis is through testing. So what's the difference in severity in all three of these, Doc? And then how do you know when you need your doctor? Well, we all get them, so we talk about what's, what's severity, right? The patient's age has a significant impact, Linda, on the severity of the viruses. RSV is more critical in babies and young kids than in healthy adults. Now, right now, 78% of hospital pediatric beds, that's a lot, are filled with children suffering from RSV or the flu. And of course, senior citizens are at greater risk for all three viruses. The CDC and, uh, is reporting a higher rate of hospitalization for adults over age 65 with RSV and age is the number one risk factor for severe complications, including death from COVID. Now, if you're the, in the high risk category, or if you're just sick and extremely sick from one of these viruses, please visit your doctor right away. If your symptoms are mild, get plenty of rest, drink lots of fluid, and most importantly, stay home so that you don't infect others. We want everyone to have a healthy holiday season and not be sick. All right, and quickly, Doc, when do you know you're not contagious anymore? It depends on the viruses, it right? The so virus. if it's COVID, okay. it's, it's, you've you got to get tested and you've got to yeah. make sure with RSV and flu, it's, it's symptomatic. Okay. So, but stay home if you have doubts and talk to your doctor. Okay, thank you, Dr. Nandy. My Appreciate pleasure. Appreciate it always. Of course. If you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.